how do you figure out the right height for this thing? What's going on? It's Jason Heath and finding the right height for your end pin is so critical whether you're standing or sitting to get your base game going. I went through a lot of experimentation, uh, especially when I was younger. And what I found is I would think that getting the end pin higher would get the playing area closer to me, if that makes sense. Uh, but what actually happens is the shoulders of the base can start to get in the way. So I found that by actually lowering the end pin a little more than I had been, I get a little better leverage on the base. So let's take a look at what I look for when I'm standing in end pin height and what I'm looking for when I'm sitting in end pin height. When I am standing, I am trying to find a spot where when the base comes to my body, my ear is just about even with this little spot, this little curve spot under the scroll. I'm blanking on what that's called. Leave it in the comments if you can remember. I also want to be kind of eye level with my first finger when I'm in playing position. I know these are all subjective things and we're all shaped a little bit differently, but that is what I am looking for. The great bass teacher Micah Howard of the Pittsburgh Symphony, the host of the Pittsburgh Double Bass Symposium every year, he has a great bit of advice, which is take your hand and drape it over and see if you can just touch the bridge with your fingertips. If you can, you're in a good playing position. I think that's great because we want to be set up well for the left hand, but also for the bow. So in this position, I can play without any problem right between the bridge and fingerboard. If I need to go right next to the bridge, I can bend and let the bass come into me a little bit and I can get down there and I can move around very freely. That's the beauty of standing. If my end pin is higher than this, we get this sort of trying to get over the bass factor where you think that you're getting the bass closer to you when raising the end pin. And you kind of are in some ways, but you're also getting these upper bouts more in the way. And I actually find that I work harder when the bass is too high. Also, there's this tippy factor. The further out the bass comes, with, especially when you're leaning it back, you get more weight on your body. So though you might think you're bringing some of your playing position or your bridge close to your body, you are, uh, and it might be a bit easier for the bow and the bridge, but you're introducing some weight factors, some unsteadiness factors, and just kind of making your life a little harder in general. If I put my end pin lower, the base is going to be much more upright, which can be cool, but now this little spot is way below my ear, and I find that this might actually be kind of okay when playing pizzicato, a little lower, but it's just murder with the bow. Now, when I put my hand, I can't really touch that bridge like Mike Howard recommends without really sort of leaning over. When I put my bow on the string, I'm much more over the fingerboard, and I have to really compensate and lean this way and it's getting my body into this very sort of torqued position which is not awesome. I've done a whole video about this which I will link up to here about just getting yourself optimally set up on the base but too low is a problem as well. So for me the Goldilocks spot on this end pin, this is a Getz style end pin with a screw off tip so I can plunge it into the stage when I'm on a stage where that's cool and then I have this little rubber stopper when it's not cool. I go one, two, three, four, five and I put my end pin on the fifth notch. Your mileage may vary depending on your end pin but that is a great bit for me and everybody's base is going to be different and determining it with your height that's another factor. I'm just about six foot so that's just kind of where it works for me with my kind of long body jack stat. We've got a whole bunch of other variables when we sit so I'm getting my stool out which I've done a whole video about that and I also have my yoga block right here, which I love for just getting comfortable. And now that I'm sitting, it's the exact same concept. I actually have my end pin not out at all, which I find comfortable for me. And I'm trying to find a stool height where there is a little bit of bend in my legs, but it's not at a 90 degree angle. So this is actually a little bit low. Ah, that's great. My foot is up on this yoga block, my left foot. That's a comfortable playing position for me. And just like when standing, I'm able to get my bow in a really nice optimal spot for playing. If I let my hand reach down and touch the bridge, I can do that without straining. And I'm in a nice comfortable spot and just about ear level with this little spot. I do find that it's a little lower for me sitting, but for some reason I like having it just a little bit lower. A lot of people put their end pin out further than I like when sitting. And again, I think it's the idea of trying to get the playing 
area, whatever that means, you know, kind of like the neck block area a little bit closer in, but I find that this actually has the opposite effect. So I'm gonna put my infant out. Now I'm playing what I refer to as bazooka bass, which some people like and it works for them, but I find this very uncomfortable. The bass is a lot more kind of angled this way now rather than up and down. And you might think that gravity is helping a little bit with the arm. Maybe it is, but for me, I find that this is a very uncomfortable um, position. And I actually find that I'm having to reach with my right arm and really turn my body. Um, and while um, there might be some sort of help with gravity, again, the base, it feels heavier and less steady when it's on this end pin length. Um, and yeah, I just feel like I'm working harder and I'm already feeling some tension. I can't make my end pin any lower because it's all the way in, but if I did have a different shape base and I brought it too low, that does introduce some problems if it's like way too low, but I find that in general, if I have students or people playing for me bring their end pin a little bit lower than they think, they're actually able to get over the base a little bit better, get the playing area for the bow a little bit closer to their body, because I think that the distance between right here where the bow's gonna land and the center of your body, the center of your body's gravity, the closer those can be, the better. So I find this way more comfortable. I can go over to the G string, no problem. And I feel that even though it might seem like I'm not getting the leverage that I did with the bazooka base, the fact that it's lower, my arm is able to just kind of fall a little bit closer to my body and it's very comfortable. That's a look at end pin height. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.